Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter three of our enchanting tale set in the heart of Glenwood Springs. Picture this, a winter festival alive with twinkling lights and wooden stalls, where the laughter of children and the smiles of adults create a tapestry of joy. The air is filled with the mouth-watering aroma of roasted chestnuts and hot cocoa, painting a vibrant picture of festive delight. But beneath this cheerful surface, a deeper story unfolds, one of tension and unity. So, buckle up as we dive into this chapter, where the heart of the town beats in rhythm with the festival's magic. Let's unravel the layers of this captivating narrative together. Now, this reminds me of those moments when the hero stands on the brink of destiny. Evie Hart, with her curly chestnut hair framing her freckled face, stands at the edge of the town square. Her heart races as she surveys the vibrant scene before her. The festival is in full swing, yet beneath the laughter and joy, a current of tension ripples through the townsfolk. Evie feels the weight of her role as a leader pressing down on her shoulders. Beside her, Max Thompson and Tommy Rivera stand, their breaths visible in the frosty air. Max, with his sandy blonde hair and mischievous grin, is usually the joker, but today, his face is set with determination. Tommy, with his tousled dark hair and piercing blue eyes, seems lost in thought, wrestling with the shadows of his family's past. Together, they embody the town's collective struggle, ready to face whatever challenges lie ahead. Oh, but here's where it gets really juicy. Clara Wells, the town's unofficial historian, steps forward. Her silver hair glints in the light as she begins to recount tales of the ancient spirit that once guided the townsfolk through their darkest times. Evie feels a surge of inspiration. This is the moment they have prepared for. With a nod from Clara, Evie takes a deep breath and steps into the center of the square. Her voice is steady as she calls for the townsfolk's attention. Tonight, we confront our shadows together. Evie's words ring out, echoing against the backdrop of laughter and music. The crowd quiets, curiosity peaked. The snow globes hold our memories, our fears, and our hopes. Let us share them. Let us heal together. The stage is set for a night of revelation and healing. But what if I told you, this is where the magic truly begins. Max Thompson steps forward, his voice trembling slightly but growing stronger as he speaks of his own insecurities. The pressure of expectations has weighed him down, and the townsfolk listen, their expressions shifting from skepticism to understanding. Tommy Rivera follows, his voice low but resolute as he shares the pain of his family's past, the shame that has haunted him. Each revelation is a thread, weaving a tapestry of shared experience that begins to bind the community together. The air thickens with emotion as the children lead the townsfolk in a cathartic confrontation of their fears. The snow globes, once mere objects of curiosity, become mirrors reflecting the collective memory of Glenwood Springs. Each globe reveals a story, a moment of vulnerability that resonates deeply within the hearts of those gathered.